Hello friends and welcome back to a new episode of Noobs in Disguise, the show where two professional players figure out the MMR of the replay submitter who's been anonymized. Today we have a Zerg versus Zerg between Macchiato and Oolong Tea. It's the battle of the drinks and joining me as always is Lambo, who knows a lot about drinks. Ain't that right, Lambo? <laughs> I thought you were going with who knows a lot about ZVZ, but yes, I do also <laughs> drink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and smoking. <laughs> and smoke a lot, yeah. Lots of drinking and smoking. <laughs> well, uh, oolong tea and, and, and well, macchiato. That's a latte macchiato, right? Latte macchiato, yeah. yeah that's they're, what it is. they're non-alcoholic drinks, of course. Yeah. Do you know what an oolong tea is? I have, I have no idea. Yeah, I wish I could tell you, and I feel like I should know, but I I don't actually know. But uh, I feel like an oolong tea might be a tea that's not really a tea, you know? It's mm -hmm. where the the tea hipsters they'll tell you that it's a uh, that is different because it's not a, a black or a green tea, so we don't count it. And I bet our audience consists of lots of thirty to forty year old tea hipsters. So I can't wait to hear all about it, but not before I hear from you about these openers. What's been happening? Well, there's a 12 pool coming from Oolong Tea, and Macchiato uh, just went for a normal 16 inch, which on this map is actually not safe. Uh, this is supposed to be very good for the 12 pool player. That's why very often you will see Zergs play 15 inch or pool first on this map. So it's really up for uh, for Macchiato to, to show me the way, because I don't really know how to defend a 12 pool myself here, so we'll see if he knows. Pulling a couple of drones down. This is a fairly standard response at the highest level. Uh, getting a bunch of drones. You don't want to fight too long because you don't actually want to, don't actually want to lose any. So you kind of the, the the goal here is to distract the twelve pooling player from fighting your hatchery. Then you're waiting for your links to pop out, and that's when you really want to fight. I think so far, uh, yeah, two drones have already gone down. Hatchery is falling pretty low as well. We're gonna get another fight here with those drones. So far, four drones falling. Does feel like uh, Macchiato is going to hold here in the end, but six drones have gone down. Is that's not a great start, is it? That's a terrible start. He even lost the fight in the end. The only thing going for him is that Oolong T forgot to macro and it's now... He has decided to spend all of his larvae and 8 extra Zerglings after the rush is already over. He also hasn't injected a single time yet. So, <laughs> Macchiato is not behind somehow. Uh, this really should not be the case. And it's only because Oolong T didn't macro at all. Macchiato also saving gas for the, for the transition. Yeah, that's uh, an interesting move. He probably continued mining gas a little bit too long there during that fight. Usually just want to focus on mineral mining as much as possible. Double Queen's going to find this Overlord here too. Um, some nice stutter stepping. Overall APM's relatively high as well. And although these 8 links don't make any sense whatsoever. Actually, these 10 links don't make any sense. These 12 links don't make... Actually... <laughs> Every every extra set of links is starting to make less and less sense. Um, it still feels like it's a relatively high-level game. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think so as well. I think the Microsoft was not bad at drone drilling, etc. Uh, yeah, this link flood makes absolutely zero sense. Macchiato also saw it coming, so now you can just reactively make links. And you should be fine against it. Really losing one queen sucked, because the two queens could have blocked the ramp, and then mm. in that case, it simplifies the defense even further, but... Yeah, Lynx alone should not be able to do anything. They don't even win against drones if the level is high enough that the defender can always stack the drones. Yeah, whenever you have these uh, these kind of uh, triangle mineral patches, you can always stack your drones in one of them. And in that case, it's impossible really to lose drones against Lynx. It's always going to be much, much better for the drones. Of course, you lose a little bit of mining time, but that's not going to be the end of the world if your opponent invested in that many Lynx. We're actually seeing more and more Lynx. This is still gasless, by the way. Um, there's <laughs> five queens on the map as well, which I think is fairly rare to see on a drone count of 21. It's actually going to go for a Zerg versus Zerg queen walk. Now, one of the, the fun things here is that if these queens actually make it to the other side of the map, is that they will be capable of transfusing one another on the opponent's creep. Yes. Makato should make spines. Now, you would think that this is a very short map, so you can't get spines in time, but... Uh, queens take very long to get there anyway, so <laughs> I think he has all the time in the world to make some spines. <laughs> I think the size of the map here. This guy starts a bailing nest and he will finish in time to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> he could have tacked into lair, got the mutas out if that was his response. <laughs> Wouldn't have been a very good response, but they would have been in time. <laughs> as uh, the queens here are busy chasing an overlord for now as well. 
Uh, we see Macchiato coming in with the Ling run by. Will take out a couple of drones. I don't think Oolong T is going to be losing any sleep over that. Because he already <laughs> he hardly had any drones. Like, well, two more drones losing those. Not the end of the world. I'm not even sure if he has any injects going. No, he doesn't. So probably uh, not really capable of spending his money anyway. He's going to build another queen in the main base instead. As uh, we have the first set of banelings here on the way. Three on the ramp. We have a fight before those banelings arrive though. Ling versus Ling. Queens in the back dishing out quite a bit of damage. Drones being pulled off the line. And these banes need to get some big hits. Yeah, this is something that uh, I'm not used to seeing so many queens against pure Ling Bane. Let's see, let's see how well he micros. Good focus fire on the first baneling. Gets that one right away. There's only two more banelings. I feel like the queen Ling player should win this with proper micro. Good focus fire once again. Gets the other two banelings as well. And he has many transfusions left over. Should really engage with the zerglings now that there's no banelings left over. So it's good that he lets the queens tank, but the zerglings have to attack as well. And obviously his zerglings are gonna, <laughs> gonna take a while to get over because they don't have link speed yet. And these queens are basically unkillable for him. Because queens don't deal a lot of damage, okay. One transfuse used. Only one transfuse left over from Macchiato and... I mean, the queens are standing their ground beautifully here. <laughs> New queen shows up as well, we still have. Yeah, three more transfusions, I think that was in total. That's going to be it, though, for the queen pool. Um, worker count is going to be fairly even after this. Can we look at the Oolong T's natural? Like, does he have 20 links there or something? Yeah, just eight. Okay. And what's going on there? Yeah, so it's, it's a single, single link. Single link. <laughs> yeah, a couple of kills. Don't worry about that, Lama. It's not important right now. <laughs> what is important is... No, not the transfused. Not important enough. So uh, Queen in the natural will end up falling. It is 17 drones to 13. Uh, the fun thing here is, is that Oolong T decides to continue sending slowlings across the map this an entire way through. Um, we still have about eight links over here idling. Definitely helpful to have them in the fight as uh, the next wave has now arrived. Another Queen is going to show up as well. Do we have more Queens? Yeah, of course we have another Queen as well coming in. Two more Queens in production. It is 44 supply to 28, but I don't think that Oolong T knows how, like in what type of spot he is. I think he doesn't care, quite frankly. I don't think <laughs> it matters. Oh my god. Don't use the <laughs> bane on the one queen there is, man. Come on. Okay, two more two more banes on the way. The queen tries to get on creep. It couldn't get a transfuse on the ling off. I mean, I don't think Macchiato can die here anymore. He has three queens and he has bane links. So I don't know how he's going to die to slow links. Just being rallied over. But I feel like Oolong T has a strategy that he has in mind and he really wants to continue with that. Because uh, it's probably a strategy he came up with himself and uh, thinks it's cool to continue like this. I don't think there's really much of a plan B. <laughs> and the, the longer this a takes... Wasn't great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if this is plan A, I don't want to don't be introduced to plan B here. Yeah, we just have 14 more things coming in right now. Uh, I mean, eventually this bailing nest is going to get taken out, surely. That's the, 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 the next course here for Oolong T. He says, I've had a great time fighting, but... Now it's time for this Bane Less to go. Can we get another Transfuse in? Yes, we can. Of course we can. The Transfuse is going to linger a little bit. It's going to allow the Queen to stay alive for just that much longer. There's hardly any Links remaining defensively right now. There's zero Banes remaining. It's just three Queens against a bunch of Links. Next wave of Zerg Links with the speed will pop out though. And I do believe here that Oolong T is finally going to uh, get definitively pushed back. He, he just doesn't have enough stuff anymore. I mean, there are more links defensively. Oh, actually, that's not true. Ooh, that's a lot of links again. But there's no queens. How can you deal with banes here? It's simply impossible. Yeah, just the queens plus the banes should be enough to hold. There's just nothing to snipe the banes anymore. When there were six queens to focus fire down the bane links, this could work. But the moment it's just slow links, this never works. Even just against the queens with a couple of banes. So I think Macchiato has done it. That baneling nest gets transfused just for the sake of it. Because it's the hero of this game. This baneling nest tanked. Like a thousand damage, <laughs> just from the queens alone. I feel like the queens kept shooting the baiting nest for some reason, instead of shooting better targets, which is literally anything else. Yeah. For example, low low HP hatchery that was low HP from the get go. Um, and yeah, I think that now there is not much left for Ulong to do, to do. Actually, he can maybe transition out of this with two base layer. Yeah, look at that. He's building drones. Yeah, at, at some point he's gonna need he to take queens. gases and queens. Yeah. Yeah, he, he needs more queens. Otherwise, he just dies. And a wall. 
Okay, he needs a couple of things in order to, <laughs> to make this a game. spine or two as well. <laughs> He's okay. He's going to need more than... I guess the gas is a nice start. It's going to go for the evil wall here. But with a single queen, I'm pretty sure that wall ain't going to survive for very long. Five banes do roll forward, but the wall doesn't even complete. GG gets called as Macchiato takes the game over here. Also, the person that submitted it, of course, here on the European server, our Blue Zerg. Uh, exciting ZVZ with different strategies and honestly relatively high level micro I think I think that is the, the the one takeaway that I have here is that we shouldn't underestimate it because one player had a bad strat yeah I mean I think the strat is not necessarily even that terrible on this map like I've seen Tootming, Tootming versus Rainer I can remember someone doing a slow link flat as well with Queens uh, on Moonshade and this map should be even better for it smaller yeah yeah I mean, theoretically, I I, I want to say he will win most of his games with the initial 12th put there. I think Macchiato did a decent job. Actually, Macchiato was pretty dead if this was a macro follow-up. No, the follow-up just sucks. Yeah. That's what I just said. Um, yeah, either way, this was Europe. This is definitely in the Masters League. I do not think this is Grandmaster. Um, how, how about you go first? I think I went with first last time. Um, I'm still thinking. Yeah, I don't think it's GM either. I... It does feel like uh, a little bit below my level, though. Even on a bad day, after five beers the night before. So I'm going <laughs> to go <laughs> with 4-6. Four, 4-6, six. Four, six, uh, thir 32? I'm saying 4-6, I'm writing it down. 4-6, 32. Okay, I'm thinking is... Because uh, he kept mining gas, which is a mistake that you sh usually should never do against 12 pool. But his micro was fine. It was kind of slow, but it was fine. I want to give them... I want to put him in Masters 1 as well. I'm going to say... 4,700 and... No, actually, I'm going to put 4,900 on the dot. 900 on the dot. All right. I'll open our little document over here. It's going to take a little bit longer than usual. <laughs> 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 okay, I got it. <laughs> and oh my god the submitter was g that bingo king a zerg player with 5183 mmr and thus grandmaster and the opponent was wings of liberty player with 5300 mmr all right all right wings of liberty 5300 mmr for the queen ling push you know uh Zanser used to do a challenge on na where he would go uh try to go to gm without taking gas ever with zerg <laughs> which is actually not that easy. And he would do exactly strategies like this. So I, I, I can see people getting gem with strategies like that. It's not easy, though. It's not easy. It's, it's not. I mean, this is the best map for it. And it still looked like ass. So. Yeah, it looked really bad. <laughs> <laughs> we almost had him. I think, honestly, if we would have taken some, spine, some drones there for spines, it might have worked. Because that first fight took really long. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th yeah. I think that's the next evolution. Yeah, that's the next evolution. If you're watching this, wall player, that's the next evolution. But we're sadly not going to see that evolution because this is going to be it for us today. Thanks all so much for watching this episode of Noobs in Disguise. If you did enjoy, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully we'll see all of you next time for more videos. Don't forget that both Lambo and I stream daily as well on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Lambo King and Twitch.tv slash Harstam. See you there. Bye-bye.